La Guerre du Feu or Quest for Fire in my less... Yeah, that's the language I speak, sorry. Short movie review. When a tribe of Homo sapiens 80,000 years ago is attacked by what I believe are supposed to be Neanderthals, the tribe loses its fire, and at that time man could not start fires. And fire was essential for their survival, so three members of this tribe, Ron Perlman and two actors who had to have prosthetics applied to them to look like the early Homo sapiens, sorry, are sent out to get more fire somehow and bring it back to the tribe. And that's really the main drive of the film. This is about the harsh reality of life to, you know, for, for man, men, man, back then. And it's a very unflinching look at most aspects of that. And as such, it's going to offend a lot of people, and it's also not for everyone in that it doesn't have a spoken language that we can understand. And yeah, it is a movie about three people going out to get fire. And that that is it. There are no there's no twist to that. So if you're not interested in primitive peoples and that period of our past as a species, then this movie is not for you. If it is for you, however, there is so much to enjoy in this movie. It has fantastic visual communication in that it, that's what it has to rely on. And there is some guesswork, but the movie actually puts us to work as well trying to determine exactly what someone is trying to do, what their motivation is, things like that. But this doesn't... It doesn't make you... It, it doesn't drag the film down at all. And usually you can understand what is going on and why. And it, it does help to have some understanding of primitive cultures. And they're, they're thinking. It's really, really well acted. These, these guys all had to speak lines that sound like nonsense, even if they themselves at the time understood it, which they might have. And yeah, do, do these various things. They, they look like crap, literally. Filthy hair, filthy skin, filthy teeth. They're eating stuff that we wouldn't normally eat today. And there, there are various sexual situations that also aren't quite how they take place today, usually. Radon Chong is probably, well, she is the real standout. Famous for the color purple and commando and yeah she just has an incredible ability to utterly cast off the norms the societal norms of today and you really believe that this is taking place back then the film seems to have been shot mostly on location and that really helps the authenticity which in general is just through the roof there are a few situations where it seems like these our, our heroes have main character immortality, but other than that, the various situations they encounter and the way things turn out all feels extremely real. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.